What's up guys, it's Dragonfly Mike 77 today I'm doing another tobacco review, I'm doing Hayes yeah. Hayes Quack Quack. Um, I was really excited for this flavor, uh, I really thought the name was funny and that's why I was excited for the flavor. Didn't really know anything about it. When I got it and I opened it up, it smelled like Skittles and good Skittles. Uh, I know Fantasia Rainbow Burst or something, a lot of people said tasted like Skittles. Um, I didn't really think so. This smelled like Skittles at first. Um, I packed it up and started smoking it and I was really thrown off because there's mint in it. Um, mint or a cooling like aspect to it and when you smell it you don't really get you don't get that that much. I mean after I had tasted it, I can smell the mint now, but at first I didn't really get the uh, a strong mint flavor. And that mint really threw me off and it really bummed me out. Um, I'll take a poke for you guys. When I first started smoking it, the, the first bowl I had, um, the mint threw me off so much. I was kind of so bummed about it, I didn't finish the bowl. Um, just like anything else, though, I don't sit there and I go, nope, I don't like it. I, I don't, you know, one bowl is not a good way to see if you like something. So, last night, I was sitting there and I wanted something outside of my comfort zone. I was looking for something a little different. Um, and I looked at Quack Quack and I went, that's with, with, with the mint. I was like, that's definitely different. And um, I decided to mix it with Desi Marley Blueberry. Um, I am familiar with Desi Marley Blueberry, so it was kind of a way of stepping outside of my comfort zone, yet getting something familiar at the same time. And the smoke actually wasn't bad. Um, I really felt that the Desi Marley toned down the mint in Quack Quack. And I was able to pick up a little more of the lemon that's in it. It's definitely got some blueberry in it. And I want to say it has a hint of orange. Um, it's hard for me to kind of distinguish the other flavors in it because I feel like the mint is a little overpowering. I'll take a poke for you guys. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely has a blueberry in it. And on smaller bowls and, that don't really allow me to go multiple rounds of coals, uh, I don't think that the lemon or that hint of orange really comes out. I noticed last night on the second round of coals, I really felt like the mint died out a lot and the other flavors started to surface up a lot more and I was able to really pick out the lemon and the blueberry and that little bit of orange. And that... that was a good positive for me. But as I said, the, the mint in this kind of upset, <laughs> upset is a bad word. Um, I'm not digging the mint in it. Uh, they came out with a bunch of new flavors, uh, Peach Cooler, Mint Fiesta, La Mint, Quack Quack, Kazuza, and or Orange Swirl, the six new flavors. And they had three flavors that were mint. Um, the pe Peach Cooler, the La Mint, and the Mint Fiesta. And I kind of would have liked to see Quack Quack not have any mint in it. Um, they came out with four flavored, four new flavors with mint in it. And, you know, for me, when you're coming out with new flavors, uh, I really, I, I would like to see more variety. Um, even though all the flavors are relatively different uh, than each other, it's still four of them are mint. Now, I did like La Mint. I thought that was really good for a mint, as I said. But the Quack Quack, I'm just uh, disappointed that they ended up putting mint in it. I think the flavor, if they got rid of the mint, would be awesome. I think it would taste like Skittles. I mean, it smells like Skittles. I almost want to keep it around because it smells so good. Like, it really does. It just smells refreshing. Now, if I were to take my own personal bias out of, out of this and exclude my dislike of mint for the most part. Uh, let me... I 
I could really see people liking this. Um, I won't say who, just because they haven't reviewed it yet. Um, but I, well, a couple of reviewers um, really like this flavor. That's their number one flavor out of the new flavors. For me, it it's... I'm not sure yet, because uh, I have to smoke some peach cooler a little more. But this might be my least favorite out of the new flavors. Um, this is definitely better than Seduction for me. Um, I was just really not a big fan of that. It wasn't something that I'd, you know, get again. This is something that is tolerable. It's something that I'm not sitting there and... <laughs> not sure what just happened there. Um, this is something I can smoke, but it's something that I would prefer not to smoke. Uh, I'll take one more poke for you guys. I will say, as I smoke this um, more and more, that, that mint isn't as strong as I initially thought it was. The lemon and the blueberry really do, um, I'm really starting to taste those a little more. That also might be the fact that I have been smoking more mint flavors lately and my palate is getting used to it more. Um, to talk about a few of the positives with this, I noticed that with a lot of mixed flavors, whether it's Haze, Starbucks, Fantasia, um, e even things like Tangiers, I noticed that for some reason the longevity of the flavor normally doesn't last that long. Uh, last night I packed it up in my Super Chief, and that normally goes three rounds. Um, that's pushing it with Desi Murley, but I noticed the flavor didn't really die out on the third round, so that is a positive. Um, the flavor does last a decent amount of time on this, which, as I said, if you are a mint fan, this would be fantastic for you. It's got the lemon in it, it's got the blueberry and the hint of orange. It kind of takes it on a different spin than a lot of the other mint-like flavors out there that add cooling to it, like uh, peach cooler is pretty straightforward, it's peach and it's cooling. Um, with this, you kind of get different aspects to it that um, is a big positive. As I said, if you are a mint fan, I do say that you are probably going to love Quack Quack. If you're like me and you're not really into mint that much, it's, it's really not something I'd recommend, um, just like anything else though. Um, Try it out. You never know. You know, just because, I mean, there have been mint flavors that I have liked, and I didn't think that would ever happen. But, as I said, you never know. You might end up getting a flavor that you sit there and you go, well, I don't like what's in in this, but uh, combined together, you may end up really liking it. Um, because of that, um, as I said, I'm just not big on the quack quack. Uh, I still really like the name. I think it smells really good. And the longevity of the flavor is outstanding, but the overall flavoring for me with the mint is is kind of a letdown. Um, that's all right. As I said um, on my next review, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do. It's either gonna be orange swirl or mint fiesta. Not sure yet. Um, or I might do a how to. I don't know. Depends on how lazy I am. So I think that's all I got. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, guys. Peace out.